Hi, my name is Heather and I am an oil painter and a mixed media artist. And today I'm going to show you how I created these postcards or they could be journaling cards either way. Um, I hope that you will uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell and keep up with uh, future videos. Anyways, let's get right to it. So what I'm doing is I took a brayer and I'm taking some purple uh, distress paint and then I'm squirting water on it. And then I'm kind of letting the water drip from side to side. And then I got off the hair dryer and dried this layer. And now I'm doing the same exact thing with another color. And then I'm doing the same exact step again with the yellow. And then I got my hair dryer and dried it each layer. And now I'm just taking some pink acrylic paint and I'm kind of putting it on there thick. And then I'm putting a stencil over it and taking a baby wipe and wiping away some paint. And you can wipe away what you like and what you don't like from, from the stencil that you put on there. And now I'm taking another stencil and I'm spraying dilution inks on it. And I'm letting the inks drip each way, taking the paper and letting the ink fall. And I'm spraying some more inks and spraying some water on there, creating some drips. Then I dried that with my hair dryer. And now I'm taking some black paint and I'm doing, um, taking my brayer and going over it again. Then I got some white gesso and water and I'm just making some paint splashes. And then I cut them in four by six pieces. And now I'm adding some tissue paper with a um, Mod Podge. And the ink is smearing around a little bit and I don't mind that because I want it to be really different and abstracty and fun. And this is just tissue paper that I ripped up. I'm just adding texture And now I am taking more Mod Podge and I'm adding these numbers. And this is um, some flowers out of a roll of tissue paper that I have. And so I am just sticking this on there as well with Mod Podge. And I believe that tissue paper is uh, Tim Holtz. And then I'm taking some gesso on my card and I'm just swiping in different areas on the card uh, just to give it another element of texture. And now I'm taking water and some burnt umber and I'm doing a wash over each card and I'm kind of making it grungy. And next I got my oil pastel and I'm going around the edges of each card. And then I got some Spectrafix and I sprayed the cards to seal the um, oil pastel. And then I got some coffee dyed paper and I'm gluing each card um, to some coffee dyed paper. I'm backing it with the, the coffee dyed paper. And then I ended up taking mine and sewing around the edges. You don't have to do that, but it's an option.
And then I'm taking some Distress Oxide and I'm going around the edges just so you can't see the white part of the paper. Making it grungy. And see, so you can see where I sewed around. Now I'm going to add my elements on the top. And I just cut these little pieces out with my Sizzix. And I believe this is a Tim Holtz as well die cut. And then I have this butterfly that I'm going to put on here. And I liked the hello, but then I decided I didn't want to put it on there. And so I 86 it. Instead, I put you are loved. And I'm just gluing on all my little pieces. And I'm taking a, a stip -a low and I'm going around and I've added some water to my brush and I'm going around and shading um, all of the little elements on my page. I've said it before, but I love the stip -a low It's my favorite thing to use to shade. It's quick and easy and it's, it's awesome. And then this word says create and I put those little foam. Um, I don't even know what you call them. The little foam stickers so that the butterflies um, are lifted off of the paper, which is pretty cool. And then my last one is some flowers and I believe it says you got this babe you got this babe and then I'm just using my stipulo and shading around and that's it super easy fun um, postcards that you can make and send to your bestie or somebody that you love and, um, and or you could use them as a journaling card, like in your journal. Anyways, I hope this was helpful and you guys got something from it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. So on Monday, I'm going to pick four winners to win one of these journaling cards or postcards. And I'm going to use the comment picker in YouTube. So if you'd like to win one of these, um, leave me a comment and introduce yourself and say hi. And on Monday, I will announce whoever is the winner. And I'll I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.